So, what is fashion? A code set by the myth. Could we also imagine that this code could be like a DNA code or like a computer code? That is actually a code that can be recoded. That we can learn something from the computers about how does code work. But the hacking is usually considered the, the constructive side, making plugins, writing additions. So, I mean, just like in open source, that you, just, you share the, the code and then you build further on it. So, today, we are going to work with the king of recycling. Of course, you all know about. Mate Magela. What Mate Magela has done beautifully is that he has helped people out there to say recycling can be extremely fashionable. The recycled stuff can be the most cool stuff, the most hot stuff that is out there. So, I mean, here, for example, it's a, it's, a, it's a very pale material, and then there's an emphasis on the layering, so, so the contrast is very big. Layering of, of contrast. Really, like, how does he do this? Because it's, it's very stringent, it's very calculated in his work. And perhaps we could also imagine fashion being some form of energy, some form of impulse, some form of intensity that we try to find, or that we are the ones who try to power up. Kind of like um, nighty into nightwear. I've taken the shoulder pad thing, the exaggerated shoulder pad, as my inspiration. On the back I've sewn the words not no way, not no how in, which is a quote from The Wizard of Oz. So I made these massive knitting needles and I started to knit, but I realised it takes ages to knit. I just initially chopped off the waistline off the, the skirt and brought it up to under the bust. And the hood. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a wool jumpsuit and I had cut it ages ago and I hadn't done anything with it, so I brought it today. Uh, I started off with a hat, and I used it over here, and this is the waistband. I had already a dress that I didn't wear anymore, and a bag that I didn't use anymore, so I just cut the bag up, used the handles as straps, and used the pocket for the front, and then just the rest of the bag, I unpicked all of it, and just added it on the bottom. And there was an old jacket with um, fur. So I thought he's into like a wild sort of thing, adds a fur to it as well. So I started by just draping this over the mannequin. It's really, really comfy, this thing up black to wear. My assignment here is to bring out three finalists for something. It's the wish of, of Martin Majela himself. A lot of recycling in the style of Martin Majela is, is also perhaps not doing too much, but doing a little too less too. So, so he also said that uh, Le Piste de Singlet, the, the singlet piece, also had to, to be among the very strict application of his methodology. So he, he sent over this special piece of the pirate sewing machine. Um, we got it flown in this morning, directly from Paris, touched by his holy fingers. So, Thanks Otto, it was super amazing and can't wait to kind of keep doing it essentially. Yeah, thank you so much Otto, you taught me a lot in one day and um, I think I'm going to take this with me 
from yeah from now on and uh, see what I can make and what I can teach other people as well. Thank you Otto for the experience and the opportunity and this. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a little sewing machine that he designed with crossbones and teeth and a little tie.